have you ever been searching of something? Of life, for example? And its dailiness routine? Of course, there are problems here and there, but it seemed like there could be nothing big enough to make it stop. If ever something seemed like it would never happen, or it could not happen, if ever there was something that even with the truth spat right at your face, you could not believe it, that something would be life, that it stopped. Who knows why? And I cannot believe it. How long has it been? I believe ten years now. Ten years of walking the earth. It was six years ago that I met someone else that was highly disturbed, committed suicide a few days later. Seemed that meeting up with me gave her some kind of comfort. Then went ahead and killed herself. But then again, highly disturbed. That was a proof that I was not the only person on earth and have been walking since, in search of something, someone, an explanation, an answer. But all I've had are more questions. So, what now? I came to this point because of a decision. I am completely alone. The million of people that inhabited this air have disappeared or committed suicide. And all that can be seen are empty cities filled with indoor corpses and old newspapers with stories of overnight mass disappearance, all unexplained, and no clues as to the million of people whereabouts, or even any idea as to where they could be. Nobody seemed to have an explanation as to what was happening. As the newspaper's stories unfolded, the mass disappearances increased day by day until the last printed newspaper. Tuesday the 13th. The news was shocking. Everyone in Europe had disappeared, and satellite photos showed that part of Asia had disappeared as well. Part of the continent, the land had disappeared and there were no explanations. Now that I recall it, I was also there. The story ran for seven days, from the first news on the disappearance until the day newspapers stopped being printed. <laughs> All these stairs make me remember old days and make me wonder of why I am still alive. I guess it's because I hated life as it was. Maybe that is why I have kept going on and on all these years when others give up already. My name is Jack Dreams. My mother was a mental institution patient where she met my father, a doctor. Long story short, they had me. And soon after, my father joined my mother as a patient in the same mental institution. So I grew up at a foster home my first years. My youth was spent between correctional facilities and foster homes. When I came to adulthood, I got a job which I hated and moved on my own. Even since then, I was alone and just living on and on. Cannot say there was ever something I liked, but maybe I just don't remember anymore. Still, there were others 
around. There were books, there was music, there were movies, there was electricity. I thought the disappearance of everyone I knew, of everything I knew, did not affect me that much. But now that I come to see it, it was just irrational faith and hope. Faith that all those people would just reappear and say, hey, we are here. And hope that there will be a solution, an answer somewhere out there. It was just irrational faith and hope. But it was just as irrational as everyone just disappeared. Ah, seems the stairs are coming to an end, but my mind isn't what it is to be. I cannot remember as to the why I came here. The view is just beautiful. The sun is setting. The weather is perfect. The landscape is beautiful. And it seems like a long way down. Everything is just perfect. It is perfect. Oh, right. I came here to decide if I was going to kill myself or not. Um, <laughs> but to kill oneself seems kind of dumb and lame. I guess the answer is no, I am not going to kill myself. I'm just going to see if I can fly.